I've always had a hard time in school. I wasn't a loner, but I didn't have a lot of friends either. People bullied me for the way I looked, but it never bothered me, at least up until this point. I grew up in Jackson, Mississippi. My mom and dad weren't poor or rich, just an average working family. My brother Kenny worked as a mechanic at an automotive industry, while my sister, Riley, went off to college to improve her career. I, as I was the baby, was in middle school. I never did like school, all the pain and torment I had to suffer. This one day changed my life forever. I was walking home from school with my friend Candace. We were talking about the upcoming test that began yesterday when a tall man, about 40 or 50, walked our way. He asked us for directions. He wanted to know where the Sunshine Market was. I looked at him, then to Candace. Sir, I said, it's on the corner of Pine and Rosemead, right over there. I pointed to the light blue building hovering over our school. He thanked us and continued walking. I finally got home around 3.27. My folks were outside barbecuing, so I put my bag down on the floor and went to my room. When I opened the door, the same man I met earlier was there sitting in my chair with a cigar in his mouth. He looked up at me and gestured to call me over. I walked slowly and stood next to him. Child, look at these eyes. Each one has a specific power engraved in them, so choose wisely. When you have the eye you want, pick it up and squeeze tightly. Don't worry, you won't squish it. On my desk were six eyes. All of them were oddly colored, but one stood out from the rest. That one. The blue eye. I pointed at the eye. He picked it up and placed it in my palm. Now squeeze. I squeezed the eye and felt my head pounding. After ten minutes of squeezing, the pain went away. But the man had left. I looked at my palm. The eye was gone. I went over to the mirror to see that my eyes had changed from brown to blue. My face was completely pimple-free. The eye had changed me into a new person. My mom yelled for me. Evelyn! Time for dinner! I went to the bathroom and washed my hands. As I walked down the stairs, I felt a strange aura around me. Something very cold. I was the first to sit down while everyone else came later. They all had this look of astonishment. Ev, what happened to you? You look very pretty. Oh my, your eyes have changed color. Kenny stared at me for a while. It made me feel uncomfortable. Excuse me, I'm not hungry anymore. They all continued to stare until I went up the stairs to go to sleep. The next day was odd. Boys that had bullied me were now complimenting me on how pretty I was. Wow, I've never gotten this kind of attention before, I muttered to myself. But the nightmare was only beginning. At lunch, I received an F in math for a test, and in English, for not turning in a paper. Oh God, why is this happening? I thought. The same man from yesterday was there. Each time I caught a glimpse of him, he would disappear. I thought I was being stalked. I walked home alone and ran right into him. Hello there, Evelyn. Do you like your new eye? He looked at my face carefully. You! What did you do to me? My looks have changed, but my grades are dropping. Change me back! I screamed at him, gripping his shirt collar tightly. I want to be the girl who was bullied, but had good grades. Not a pretty wannabe that's failing. Please, change me back! His eyes glowed, 
and turned red. Okay, I will change you back, but for a price. You will be blind once the eye returns to me. I was bargaining with the devil. His words echoed in my head. Yes, take it back. I accept being blind. The man laughed <laughs> and covered my face with his hands. It soon became dark. The man was gone, and I continued on as if nothing happened. My eyes were blind, and I couldn't see anything. I collapsed to the ground. Let it be a dream. Let it be a dream. I woke up and looked around. Nothing had happened. I was still the same person, except there was a blue eye on my hand and a note that said, The game has only begun. <laughs>